Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Charisma Tech. If you're pre PTG and you want to know how to get the best results for your prints, stay tuned. For this video, I've used two different slicers Prosa slicer and Curie slicer. So, which one have got the best results? Stay tuned and I'll show you on this video. For this test print I used Filamentive BTG which is I believe is UK company um, apparently is environment friendly so they use recyclable bottles and recyclable materials like cardboard so I like to think that I'm helping the environment um, both this filament and Amazon basics are very very similar so if whatever you are if you want to compare those those two filaments they are very similar to Amazon basics in my opinion so I've done two test prints both been done on my Prosa Mac 3 I used uh, Prosa Slicer and Curie Slicer but you can clearly see the results um, Curie Slicer a lot better than um, Prosa for some reason I keep getting these strings using Prosa Slicer you can see the difference that's been done on Prosit Slicer you can see how rough the surface is and that one has been done using Curie Slicer you can see how clean it is the difference, the difference between those two are astronomical um, very clean print, very neat, almost no strings, hardly anything there. Very clean print, both no point fifteen millimeters quality. So, if you guys know how can I get rid of that using Prosa Slicer, how can I get a better results using Prosa Slicer? You can leave your comments below, and I'll read. I read all the comments and hopefully find a solution for this but you can see the results are clearly visible on the left Prose Slicer on the right Curie Slicer both being done on the same printer and using the same filament so if you guys like this video please consider subscribing I'll be posting some more videos um, about 3D printing as I'm using for my robot applications majority of the time I use BETG for our site applications um, so if you please uh, if, you, if you like this video please consider subscribing leave a thumbs up uh, see you next time